So you guys know a couple weeks ago I went to LA and I actually posted a short on this. I went to Koreatown and I went to a number of K-beauty stores like in person, in the flesh, and I'm gonna show you what I got at the K-beauty store. Now, a lot of this I did get at the K-beauty stores, but also some I did have from K-beauty just already in my collection that I've been wanting to try because I've gotten so many requests from a good number of you guys always telling me how good K-beauty is and how I need to try more. So when I tell you I had a blast at these K-beauty stores, it was just so different. It was nice because when I walk into Sephora, I love Sephora. It's my home, you know, I feel very comfortable there. But I know a lot about a lot of the products there. With the K-beauty stores, I didn't even know what I was looking at. And so that just made it so fun. I, I felt like the master became the student. So I'm gonna share with you some new K-beauty products that I have to try today. A huge thank you to Glint for sponsoring today's video. They are another new K-beauty brand that I am being acquainted with. And let me tell you, I have not been disappointed by any of the K-beauty that I've tried thus far. So Glint is part of LG Beauty Brands, which just has a lot of other Korean beauty brands under them. And they sent over their stick highlighter that I've been using the last week or so. And I'm very, very impressed with this. This is a go-to product in your makeup bag. And it really just ties into the rest of the K-beauty looks that I've been doing. It goes so well with the aesthetic. So it's perfect to finish off that K-beauty-esque style look. So they have two shades in sleek packaging that fit perfectly in a makeup bag. They're not gonna get messed up or crushed or leak. And they are a glitterless formula that's going to give a dewy skin kind of effect, which is going to brighten up the skin complexion. And there also is a triple layer system, which gives a deep moisturizing effect and creates like a wet, dewy look. And it's a balm texture, which is going to help hold as much moisture as possible. So I will be using these once we get to the highlight portion. Thank you Glint for sponsoring today's video. They did provide me with a discount code that I will remind you at the end as well. So code MorganLG will save you 10% off. But they're also having LG Beauty Week till the 28th of May. So if you are watching this when this video is posted, my code can also get you an additional 30% off any LG Beauty brand products, but that's only until the 28th. But if you're watching this after, code Morgan LG still will be able to save you 10% off. So the product is available on Amazon US. I will have that link down below, but just hold off. We're gonna see it in action. Let's get a little closer to my face and start, start using these new products. So first things first, I'm gonna try this Etude Face Blur Smoothing Primer. I've heard a lot about Etude, so I wanna try this. I really wish I could give you more information <laughs> about these products, but it's like, I'm kind of here for the ride just like you guys to see what happens here. I don't know the base product that I have if it's going to match me because that's one of the items that I ordered online, but this feels really smooth on the skin. It has a light hydration. I feel like it, it lightened my skin tone a little bit, which that is very Asian-esque. They kind of like that lighter skin look, but I am blending it in and it is coming back down, but it feels like a really lightweight lotion. It leaves my skin feeling really smooth. I don't know if it like physically blurs the skin, but it definitely smooths the way that it feels. Hmm, interesting. I like the way that this makes my skin feel. And it adds like a little bit of a glowiness that looks really hydrated. Hmm, I like this. I mean, this is my first time using this one. Some of these are second impressions. This is my first impressions on this. I like this one. Okay, so I've heard a lot about this Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream. I ordered this a few weeks ago just to try. So this is not what I picked up in LA, but I've been wanting to. I picked up the shade Warm Beige. I don't know if it's gonna match me, it might not. So I might have to use something else. Huh, you know, this might be a good color for me. Let's see. Oh my gosh, it's too dark. <laughs> okay, I did not expect that. Normally, whenever I've tried K-Beauty in the past, I've always had to uh, compromise and just have really light skin for the day. This is actually a little bit dark. I think I probably ordered the darkest shade that they had. 
expecting it not to match me anyways, but we'll make this work because I've heard such good things about this product and I can guarantee you the concealers that I'm using today are too light, so <laughs> it will even it out. So this has more coverage than I thought it would. So K-Beauty is really big into like cushion foundations, which, which give a really light look to the skin. I mean, wow, this looks super natural and I'm sure the glow from the Etude Primer is peeking through. How healthy does that look? Okay, it is a bit dark which is something I never thought I'd say about any of the K-Beauty products that I've picked up before, but, but that's okay, we'll make it work because the consistency itself blends into the skin like butter. I have noticed K-Beauty brands are really trying to get their name out there into the US markets, which I think is very exciting because I love it's a different style of makeup. I love that these are brands I've never heard of. It's all a new game to me. I feel like I'm a kid in a candy store when it comes to this stuff, just being able to like have a whole new world of beauty opened up to me. But if they're gonna come to the US markets, I definitely am crossing my fingers that they are going to expand their range of colors as well because they're gonna have to we are a diverse bunch we are so hopefully as they are pushing this marketing they are also increasing the shade range but this is a start i've never had anything that was too dark for me in k-beauty which is pretty sad to say but how beautiful and hydrated does this look it definitely gives a lighter coverage but the finish of it is very very skin like this is gorgeous. I like this. For eyebrows, I have the brand Clio, which is, I've actually worked with Clio before. They're great. They have good brow products. I'm going to use the Kill Brow Auto Hard Brow Pencil. And I got this Kill Brow Brow Lacquer, which is way too light. It literally changed the colors of my brows. So I'm going to not use that again. I tried it last night and it like made me blonde in the eyebrows. <laughs> so I've used this before in a video, the Unleashia Shaper Pomade Eyebrow Fixer. I love this. This is such a good dupe for the Refi Eyebrow Shaper. So let's start off with the Kill Brow from Clio. So this is a first impressions on the Clio brow product. I haven't used this yet. Oh, I like the shape of this. I thought it would be too big because I normally like a pencil that really defines but this is like super quick and I'm not having to put too much pressure down. It's a good color on me too. Anyways, yeah, I've noticed um, more often now I'm getting a lot of recommendations for K-Beauty, even J-Beauty products as well like eyeliners, mascaras sunscreens, all of that. So I've noticed it's definitely becoming more and more popular in the States, which is making me more and more curious because UK beauty lovers, you guys have loud voices and you have been heard. <laughs> and I just have so much fun. I wish there was like a K-Town in Miami so bad because first of all, the food, amazing. I loved K-Town in LA. The food was amazing and then the beauty stores, I just had the time of my life and also you guys if you don't know I am half Asian and I'm very short as a lot of Asian people are the clothing stores in K-Town they fit me <laughs> they were made for short people like myself like the pants so uh yeah I need to buy more pants from K-Town apparently Okay, this was really, really nice. I liked this. And then, like I said, I've used this many times before. This is the Unleashia Shaper Eyebrow Fixer. Really great for that laminated brow look. It's so funny. I bought like the Clio one to go with the eyebrow pencil. And I just went by the color of the tube, which I thought would match my eyebrows. But then it is like for blonde hair or like honey, honey brown hair. And it has pigment to it and completely changed the colors of my brows which was not the look that i was going for okay. that looks nice see it holds the brows all day too this is one of those products where it's going to last it does leave a sticky feel on the brows that i don't love but it holds them so phenomenally and then i have this concealer pencil from the saim s-a-e-m it's a really light color but i'm going to use this to clean up under the brows 
So I got the darkest color in the concealers from this brand that they had, but they were kind of light. So I'm going to be really highlighted in certain areas. But this product is great in a lighter color for cleaning up the brows. Where's the brush I'm looking for? I did use this last night, so this is a second impressions. It is not the easiest or smoothest to blend. So something that I have is similar is the Boundless Bisque Pencil for Makeup Forever. I'd reach for the Makeup Forever over this one because it just blends a little bit easier. But this is supposed to be like a concealer. So it's going to last longer, but under the brows, it's a little hard to blend. And then for concealer, I have also from the Sign brand, the Cover Perfection Pot Concealer. This shade is way too light for me, number two, but we're going to make it work. So this is also a second impressions. This gives full coverage, you guys. I would love for this to come in a deeper shade. I don't know if it does or not, but it has a lot of coverage now. It's drier. It doesn't blend out really great. It's not super malleable. So where you want the most coverage, you literally have to press it down directly there and then try and blend out the sides because it doesn't move. It's a little sticky, which I don't prefer that, but the coverage is so nice that I don't mind it. It can look a little drying if you over apply, so just be careful. So this isn't like the perfect quality, but one thing I was super impressed about with this is how much coverage it gave. So there was a little learning curve to make this work the best for me, but the coverage is so impressive and it has lasting power, you guys. It does not budge because I think it feels sticky. While it makes it harder to blend, it sticks where you want it to stick. So I tried to put this on bare skin last night. It did not work well because of how sticky it is. I had to put a foundation overall of the rest of my skin so that this didn't stick out like crazy on my skin. Because it was so full coverage, you could tell I, and light, you could tell I only put coverage in certain areas. So I had to have a foundation on to balance it out. But with this Misha foundation... It looks really, really nice. And this color is actually quite brightening. Oh, I like that. Let me put some in the center of my forehead too. Okay, let's do some contour next. I have this from Etude. This is the contour powder in the shade number one creator. So I feel like in K-Beauty, they're not into the bronzy warm look. So this is like one of the few bronzy-ish kind of products I could try. And it's not even bronze, it really is just to sculpt the face. So I'm gonna mix these two colors together. And I'm just gonna press this in the area that I want some shaping. Luckily, since the foundation is a little dark on me, I don't really feel the need to have too much bronze anyways, but this is cooler toned, really, really great cool toned contour here where it's not too gray so it still looks natural because if it's too gray it doesn't look great in everyday life like truly gray contours are really mostly meant for special effects makeup or like tr photography situations like that but if you're going out you know for a brunch you don't want to have gray on your face this is that perfect color to where it's going to help contour but still be kind of natural I'm taking a pencil brush and this powder is pretty soft. It doesn't contain too much pigment, so it's really great for beginners. I mean, I really like this color. It's not something that I feel like I would typically go for, but it gets the job done in very K-Beauty-esque style. Now, one thing I could not resist were the K-Beauty blushes. I was looking for the perfect dupe of the Dior Backstage blush, so I ended up with three really blue base pinks, and honestly, I didn't end up picking up a dupe, because I didn't pack it with me. So I was like going by memory, and I was way off, and these are too light and not very flattering on me. <laughs> uh, the only one that's really flattering is this Peri Para in the shade Nice Pink. Because I also got these single blushes from the Syme. Uh, but I also got two cream blushes. So I have one from the brand I I don't know. And then I also got this Folklore Red Wine. Let's just do this one. Because I used this one last night. It's very sheer, very pretty. I want to do the one I haven't tried yet. So let's see. I don't know if it's going to be like, too pigmented or not for me. So I want to start off light. I feel like with K-Beauty, it shouldn't be too pigmented, but this does, this does have some pigment to it. 
So it will work for medium and deeper complexions. That's a good sign. It's blending out beautifully. I mean, I don't have much powder on, but I did use the powder contour. Ooh, I like that. I really liked the selection of the K-Beauty blushes. <laughs> I want to go back. Somebody pay for my flight to go back just to go to K-Town and buy more stuff. How pretty is that? I think I might have actually bought this online. I don't think this is one of the things that I picked up. Can't remember. I just have like a whole K-Beauty drawer in my makeup storage bag here. And I threw all the things that I got from K-Town in there and I'm like, what's what? <laughs> Cause I was just like grabbing when I was in LA, all of this stuff around me. How pretty, yeah, you can build up some pigment on this, which is a good thing. So these Folklore blushes, I do recommend you have a deeper complexion i think you can get this on like yes style probably pretty that looks nice okay so now we're on to my favorite part the cream highlights and if you've been around my channel you know i hate cream highlights but k beauty might have been the answer so i'm using the glint ones and they come in two shades milky moon and dewy moon so milky moon it has like a milky color with pink pearls which will brighten and then dewy moon has an apricot color with fine pearls which kind of is good for everyday makeup so let's see i've used both of them they're both really great both made in korea so here's the dewy one so that's the dewy one really pretty you can see it's quite natural and then let's do the milky moon color which is a little bit more sheer but i don't know if you can see the pearls are more pinky so they both are nice. I think I'm going to go with Milky Moon. Well, I'll do one on both sides. So this is really impressive because it does not mess with the makeup underneath. I don't have any powder on today, but last night when I went out to dinner, got this, I wanted a final glow. My skin was looking really, really dry because I used powder foundation on my skin. It looked great, but my skin looked a little thirsty and I was like, okay, I'm gonna risk it. I'm going to use my Glint highlighter over top of the powder foundation, which is never a good idea, but I did it anyways. It did not disrupt the powder foundation, and it added a really hydrated look to my skin. I'm going to use some of the Dewy Moon on the other side. But do you see? It had that triple layer system, like I said, which holds moisture on the skin. Doesn't that look so nice? I love this, love this, love this. So yeah, one of the few cream highlighters that I like and K-Beauty did their thing. This looks really natural. It has like a translucent base to it, which I think does give that really dewy look to the skin. So yay, that gave it to us. I don't have a K-Beauty setting powder, so I'm just gonna quickly put some Laura Mercier on the center of my face and I'll be back with one of my eyeballs done. Okay, eye makeup. K-Beauty, they keep it really, really simple. I have this eyeshadow palette from the brand Etude. This is Nudeful Espresso, and this is just like a stunning, simple nude palette. Really excited to show you guys it. Just has some really great everyday mattes. So I'm starting off with this shade, and I'm just putting it on the eye and I've been pretty hit or miss with some like K-Beauty palettes that I've tried. I feel like sometimes they don't have the pigment that I want and this one doesn't have a ton of pigment but it's still really soft and beautiful to where I think it's okay. Like it blends so good. I just go in knowing I'm not going to get the most dramatic look but I've been really impressed with how these are blending and still like they do have some pigment to them and they're not completely sheer or anything and i'll show you we're going to use the darkest color in a moment but they do blend themselves so i'm not reaching for this color or this palette for a really dramatic look by any means but if i just want a great like neutral base this is nice so here's the darkest color and k beauty they don't really do dramatic dark eyeshadow so that's why a lot of them don't have a ton of pigment, but of course I love really deep dramatic eyes. So for my taste for American style makeup, you might not love their eyeshadows, but they are super duper blendable. And that's all I did with this palette. Really, really great nudes. I think a lot of you guys would like this if you can get your hands on it. And then 
these, oh my gosh, I think I paid like $7 for this, stopped me in my tracks. And you guys always say like East Asian beauty brands always have the best glitters and you are right. So this is the Air Mousse eyeshadow. I'll see if I can find any of these online and link them down. I think this is gonna be a tough one to link, but the Air Mousse eyeshadow in Pink Picnic from the brand Etude. Look at that, oh my gosh. It's so pretty. They had a lot at the store. They just made me speechless, but they were more sheer, so I only got one, but look at that. These are super duper fine, but they stick to the eyelid. That's the amazing part. Gorgeous, and that's all I'm doing. I wanted to keep it somewhat K-beauty-esque kind of look. Um, I have this brown eyeliner that I'm gonna try from Tony Moly. I think Tony Moly was probably the first ever K-beauty brand I ever heard of. I don't know what it's called, but it's a eyeliner. It's kind of like this shimmery light brown. I don't want a dramatic eyeliner look. I just want to get a little bit of definition on the eyes. I don't think I own a pot eyeliner this color. So I'm really happy about that, and I'm just going to define the upper lash line. Yep, really simple. I mean, I'm literally even using the brush that this came with. This is my first time really ever using this, so I can't say too much about how the wear time would be. But it's applying just fine, even with the brush that they gave. I love this color for every day. Look at this nude makeup look. It looks cute, I like it. And I like the packaging because you put the top on and then you pop the pencil it came with. Okay, I'm just gonna throw on a Cleo mascara that I have from a while ago. Not new, but I wanted to show you these lashes that I found. So they had a lot of very different lashes that weren't my style really. And then I came across these. I don't even know the brand or anything, but look at them. Don't they look so soft and beautiful? I think I'm going to use this pair, number 45, Glamorous Elegant, because they look more natural. So I'm going to pop these on. I have no clue if I'll be able to find these online, but I'll definitely link them if I can. These look stunning, so let me pop them on and I'll be back and we'll finish the lips. Lashes are on. Honestly, you guys, like the lashes themselves are gorgeous, but the band was a little bit on the thick side. So my eyeliner is really natural, so it doesn't look as good as I feel like it would if I had done like a full line of eyeliner. So I don't like the band on the lashes, but the actual hairs you know, for the lashes are gorgeous and I love the curl that they have, but I don't like the band on them. So let's finish off with the lips. I have a couple options. I picked up this from Peri Para. It's an ink intense stick. So it's just a lipstick. Okay, we'll put the lipstick on. This is a shade 08. Okay, that's pretty. A little drying though. Not my go-to, but I just wanted some color on the lips. And if you blend it out with a finger, I feel like it's kind of blurring, right? That's what I feel like K-Beauty lip products do, is they blur. Now, this is such a good product. I used this yesterday, too. It's by The Syme, which I got a lot of products from. This is the Eco Soul Lip Oil. It's delightful. It reminds me a lot of the Dior oil, where it's thick, but it's not sticky. It's really smoothing. I got the shade number two. So I'm just gonna pop that on. Mm, that's so good. I love this lip oil. It's super duper nice. So here is my final makeup look today, doing a full face of new K-Beauty products that I recently purchased. Again, a huge thank you to Glint for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you use my code MorganLG at checkout, which will save you 10% off and then also an additional 30% off if you shop any LG beauty brands through the 28th of May. You can pick up the Glint highlighters on the Amazon US website which I will have linked down below and I cannot guarantee that all of these products that I use today are going to be linked but I'm going to do my darndest 
to find them so let me know your thoughts down below on any of these products what do you think of k-beauty are you a fan is there any k-beauty products brands that you want me to try out next these products you will see in an upcoming speed reviews most likely so i'm gonna pop those in the drawer but overall i mean my makeup looks beautiful I'm just saying <laughs> all right guys have a good one bye